All right. Oh my God. All right, here we go. This is the big one. This is the biggest video I've made in a while. I have to do two top 100s back to back. I'm gonna really try to make this a pretty easy to edit video though for me. I won't be showing any album covers at all in this video because trust me when I say this, I don't know if this is the case for other YouTubers. So let me know other YouTubers if this is the case. The album covers, putting the album covers on the screen is the hardest part about these videos, at least the big lists, because you have to do it so many times. And when I did my top 100, I was supposed to have album covers, but the issue was, is it wouldn't download the album covers, like they weren't saving, they weren't downloading, so then I had to like restart the downloads and it took way long, so I was just like, fuck, I just deleted all of them and then just did with the text. And I'm gonna do that with this one too, because I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't go through that again. Um, well, this year I had some great songs, a lot of great songs, more than last year, so I have to make the list twice as big, obviously. Um, no, but for real, I actually do think there are enough songs to make up this list. Because um, actually, I have about, let's look, um, about, uh, oh shoot, um, hold up, wait, actually, I just fucked this up, hold on. I have in total um, 131 honorable mentions that didn't make the actual list. All amazing songs that weren't good enough for the list. So like I did last year, um, this in total Google Doc is six pages long of just songs I liked. Okay, here we go. Like I did last year, I'm going to flash up my favorite songs of the year on the screen like this. Um, take a look at that. Pause it. Go through the song. See what you think. Um, these are all the songs that didn't make the cut. Um, I will add, though, it's none of it's in order. It's all just very randomly placed. However, the best song... On that list, though, I know is Miss the Rage. That would be my favorite song on the honorable mentions. But here we go. Top 100 favorite songs that released in the year of 2021. Okay, let's do it. All right. Number 100. Buzz Cut by Brock Hampton. By the way, I'm going to go through the first top 50 pretty quickly. I'm not going to give much of an opinion. Buzz Cut by Brock Hampton features Danny Brown. It is creative. It is fun. It is enjoyable as fuck. 99, Standing Ovation by Little Sims. Love it. Great Little Sims track. 98, Thanksgiving by Benny the Butcher. Proof that Harry Fraud and Benny is a great duo. Um, 97, Gospel, Dr. Dre. New song. Dr. Dre and Eminem come together to create another great duo from them. What else would you want from them? Um, 96, Keep My Spirit Alive by Kanye. Whether it has Casey on it or not, it's a beautiful song featuring both members of Griselda giving great performances. Um, 95, Survivor's Remorse by Benny the Butcher. Love this song. It feels like the most personal song of plugs I met too. Overall, just an amazing piece of Benny's catalog 94 welcome to the internet bo burnham really creative fun fast-paced well-written song it's such a funny song to me i love it um 93 bra remix by jid denzel curry kills it jid kills it it is a dark really fun banger um 92 true story by zara shad one of the smoothest most fun songs off the record featuring jay worth and jay rock amazing 91 let go my hand by j cole j cole gives a more of a thoughtful track about his son and the status of his life it's beautiful 90, I Hate You by SZA. Very new song as well, but very personal, amazing song. I think SZA kills it. Uh, 89, Tears in the Club by FKA Twigs. I, FKA Twigs and Weekend create one of the most creative, enjoyable duos of the year. Um, I love Weekend's feature game. This year was crazy. Uh, 88, Guns Go Bang, Kid Cudi and Jay-Z. Um, crazy good song. Crazy good song. Uh, very well produced. Very fun. Very creative. I love it. Um, 87, Just Look Up by Ariana Grande. Um, Arna Grana kills it vocally on this track, and Kid Cudi also features on it. It is amazing. Um, 86, Get Sun by Hades Cody. One of my favorite, my favorite song off of the record, and it's probably one of my favorite songs Hades Cody's ever done. Beautiful song. Uh, 85, End Credits by JPEG Mafia. It's dark, it's hard, it's awesome. Uh, 84, Rich Motherfucker by Trippy Red, featuring, uh, Polo G and, uh, Lil Dark. Unnecessarily hard song. So much fun, so good. Beat is great. It's easily my favorite song Trippy Red's put out in recent times. Uh, 83, Lay With Shot by Zara Shot. I thought this was a really solid single. It's really smooth. It's it's quiet. It's dark, but it's fun. Uh, 82, I'm not going to hate for it. Way Too Sexy. Such a fun song with Future, Drake, and Young Thug. I, I find it so much fun. I don't care what you say. It's stupid. It's ridiculous, and I love it. Um, 81, Survivor's Guilt by Dave. Um, beautiful song. Beautiful outro to We All, um, the We All Are Alone record. I love it as a whole. Um, uh, 80, Nat Cole King, uh, the unlocked version by Alicia Keys. Uh, Lil Wayne kills it as a verse. It gives this darker, better energy to Nat Cole King, and I think it's so much fun. Or Nat King Cole, fuck. Um, eight, 79, Easy On Me by Adele. 
Um, I this is a gr phenomenal uh, track. I think Easy on Me is just one of those beautiful songs she could have put out. It's a great single. It's easy to digest, but it's beautiful. It's amazing. 78 is Shy Away by 21 Pilots. 21 Pilots creates a song about basically telling someone you love to go chase their dreams and not be home when you come around. It's fun. It's exciting. And it's one of the best songs they had on that record. Actually, easily the best. Uh, 77, Scatterbrain by Conway the Machine. Jay to Ludacris and Conway over this great sample. Just kill it. It is just so much fun. Um, uh, 76, Cry in Church by IDK. Beautiful outro to the album. Beautifully ties up the themes of the record. Um, great vocals, great rapping, overall amazing. Uh, 75, The Ghosts of Ranking Dread by JPEG Mafia. Just an amazing song. Just, you have to hear it. It's amazing. 74, Holy by Justin Bieber. Um, I don't know why I love this song so much. I find it so smooth, relaxing, and fun. Chance has a really fun verse. Um, the gospel on the back at the end is amazing. Um, yeah, I know. Holy is proof that he is great at making his Christian shit. Uh, 73, Superman That by Injury Reserve. Really intense, but awesome song. Great way to start off the album as in terms of, I mean, outside the intro, but still. Superman That's incredible. Uh, 73, Pyrex Picasso by Benny the Butcher with Comedy the Machine. Um, I love this song. The beat is so dark, it's, but it's so intense. It's just a great song. Um, the energy of it is perfect. Benny and Conway both kill it with their verses. It's great. Uh, 71, Hot Wind Blows by Tyler the Creator. Tyler and Lil Wayne is such a good duo. And over this flute beat, they both just murder their verses, and it is so good. Uh, 70, Oxytocin by Billie Eilish. I was impressed by how much I liked this song. I feel like it would be so cool in an arena. She has this very dark, creeping energy to the song. It sounds like something straight from uh, When We All Fall Asleep, and it is amazing. Um, 70, or 69, uh, Big Boss Rap by Freddie Gibbs. Just bars. He actually, I think, used the You're the Man beat better than Nas did back in the 2001. Amazing. Uh, 78, Hood Blues by DMX featuring Griselda. Amazing track. Um, every artist kills it. The beat is so good. It's just a perfect example of Griselda's greatness. And DMX is, deserves to be one more Griselda songs. Uh, rest in peace. Seven, 67, Void by Lil Nas X. Easily one of the most personal songs I think Lil Nas X has ever made. It's really hard to get through. It's a beautiful song, though. It's um, The vocals are amazing. The energy of it is perfect. It is just a great song. 66, uh, Anyone by Justin Bieber. Um, Anyone is just Justin Bieber, I feel like, really dedicating a song to someone he loves. It's a beautiful song about his wife, and I, I just find it amazing. Uh, 65, Hey Auntie, IDK, love this song, love the vocals, love the singing, it's amazing, it's one of the best songs off that record. 64, Heaven and Hell by Kanye. The first half of the song is good, but the second half, once the choir kicks in in the back, holy shit, it is an experience, it is something else. Uh, 63, uh, How, Happy Birthday to You or Just HBTU by Isaiah Rashad. Beautiful outro to that record, beautiful way to leave The House is Burning Off, just an amazing track. Um, 62 Billions by Alicia Keys. Crazy cool production. Crazy cool bass line. Just a really cool song overall. I just love it what it is overall. Um, 61 Dogs Out by DMX. DMX is great on this song. Swiss Beats is great on this one. But wow. Wow Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne has his best guest verse this year. It was incredible. Incredible guest verse. 60 Wilshire by Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creator takes 8 minutes and just tells a beautiful story. Just no cut. Just a beautiful story. Um, it isn't the most well-produced song, but I love it overall. Uh, 59, EPMD2 by Nas, um, featuring Eminem, finally. EPMD does have a verse in this, they do great. But Eminem finally is on a song with Nas, and they both kill it. They both have great energy with one another, and I'm so happy it actually is something that happened this year. 58, Lonely by Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber brings us one of the most honest songs he's ever had about how much fame has damaged him and destroyed him and made him depressed. And I, it's such a touching, heartfelt song. Um, and it, it's very hard to get through sometimes. Uh, 57, Pure Souls by Kanye West. I cannot tell you how good Roddy Rich was on the song. He, one of the best guest verses I've heard all year. On top of that, Kanye is beautiful verse as well. The beat is great. And the vocals at the ends, I forget who does them, but I, whoever did them, they're amazing. The, you, you, but you you can only, um, but you can get away with it, I guess. I forget that's what it said. I, it's amazing. Um, 56, What It Feels Like, Nipsey Hussle, Jay-Z. Jay-Z has a phenomenal verse on this song. The energy of it is perfect. It's quick. It's dark. It's it's awesome. It's a great song. Um, 55, Bath Salts by DMX. Nas and Jay-Z once again. Great song with DMX. It's dark. It's raw. It's cold. It's violent. It's awesome. And it's such a good song. And it got nominated for a Grammy very deservedly. Um, 54, No Child Left Behind, Kanye. 
beautiful outro to the album. It doesn't have a ton to it. It has like five bars in total, but every single one is beautiful. And the He's Done Miracles to Me vocals are... Oh, there's something else. All right. 53. Letter to My Son, DMX. Um, beautiful song. Beautiful kind of ending note for that record. Um, I feel like where DMX brings this song in the direction is just a very heartfelt, beautiful way to end the record. And it, it, it hits hard. Um, 52, Juggernaut, Tyler the Creator. This song is so fucking hard. I love it. Pharrell and Uzi are perfect on it. The energy of it is dark, it's hard, and it's awesome. And Tyler fits over it perfectly. It also kind of comes in, I know, over being honest. Um, 51, Blast Off by Silk Sonic. Yeah, the worst song on Silk Sonic. Um, beautiful energy, beautiful crispiness to it. I love it. I think it's awesome. Um, I, it kind of has this theme of just drugs i guess i love it i think it's awesome and finally we're into the top 50 i'm exhausted here we go number 50 all too well 10 minute version taylor a testament to her writing they have to write a 10 minute song that's consistently awesome and enjoyable it's touching it's beautiful it really hits you how hard this relationship hurt her and i love it overall i think it's phenomenal 49 skate by silk sonic perfect silk sonic energy it's fun it's smooth it's nice it's awesome uh 48 uh, I'd have to go uh, Montero, Call Me By Your Name, Lil Nas X. One of my favorite singles of the year. I feel like Lil Nas X just really brought his own on this. He really proved he's such a talented man in this song. So open about his personality and who he is as a person. Um, it's beautiful. It's quick. It's so catchy. It's fun. You already know the song already. Um, 47, Rip Young by Isaiah Rashad. I love the energy of this song. It's smooth. It's nice. It, it's perfectly what I want to hear off of that record and that style. 46, Prize the Devil, J. Cole. Beautiful singing, beautiful sample, beautiful theme, and great little baby guest first. J. Cole kills it once again on this record. Uh, 45, Fair Trade by Drake. Um, I am so surprised that was like, well, this song grew on me. But Drake and Travis are a phenomenal duo. They have a great instrumental, great style, great back and forth. Drake has some great bars on this as well. And the chorus, the line, I've been losing friends and finding peace, but that sounds like a fair trade to me, is perfect. Um, 44, Nobody by Nas. Um... I feel like what makes this song so beautiful with Miss Lauren Hill is the theme that they both go on about just kind of wishing that they weren't famous. And I love it. And it's such it's so cool to hear Miss Lauren Hill's voice in music this year. I love it overall. 43, Hell on Earth 2 by West Side Gun. Every single person on this, with Benny the Butcher and Conway, it's the best these three I think have ever been on a song together. They both just bring the perfect, raw, fast-paced energy that the song is requiring. It's cold, it's dark, and it's the best song West Side Gun dropped this year. Uh, it's 72 or 42 of 777 by Silk Sonic. Um, it is fast paced. It is crazy. It's fun. It's, it's just this Las Vegas banger. It is awesome. Uh, 41 Corso by Tyler. Easily one of my favorite rapping performances this year. Tyler just murders it with this fast, hard flow over this beat. It is so much fun. Um, Hey, yo, forgot to record number 40. Heh, <laughs> skipped over it. Number 40 for me is, uh, score by Zara Rashad. Love this song. Sizz on Black perfectly compliments Zay. The singing is beautiful. It's catchy. It's nice. Easily one of the best off of The House is Burning. 39, I have Moon by uh, Kanye West. Moon with uh, Don Tolliver's vocals are beautiful. The guitar is amazing as well. And Kid Cudi kills it. It's my favorite Don Tolliver thing ever, honestly. Um, uh, 38, I have Both Sides of a Smile by Dave. I forgot the title of this yesterday's video. Um, Both Sides of a Smile is a beautiful song, though, um, where Dave basically discusses um, how he sees this broken relationship. We're kind of given this back and forth of it. It's seven minutes, and it's beautiful. Uh, 37, Alone Together by Kodaka. The best use he's used of this sound so far. It's beautiful. It's heart-wrenching. It's awesome. It's so well-produced, and his vocals are actually amazing. I'm impressed by how well they sound on this track. Uh, 37, Believe What I Say, Kanye. Kanye samples doo-wop and makes an amazing song out of it. Amazing song with great energy flows and style, and I just find it to be such a refreshing, uh, peaceful song. Uh, 35, Fly As Me by Silk Sonic. This song is too catchy. It's too much fun. It's so, it doesn't even take itself too seriously, but it is such a fucking fun song. Um, 34, All Eyes On Me by Bo Burnham. Beautiful vocal performance. I love the mixing to make his vocals darker, and it gives this beautiful atmosphere and darkness to it. It is amazing. Uh, we're in the point now where every single song from this point on is amazing. Uh, 33, Sick, Nervous, and Broke by JPEG Mafia. I love the energy of this song. It's fast. It's dark. It gives this kind of deep energy about the brokenness of the world. I love it. I think uh, 
Yeah, I think JPEG Mafia proves it's one of his best songs yet. Uh, 32, read by IDK. I don't care what you say. IDK kills another song. West Side Gun, MF Doom, J Electronica, all just have amazing verses on this song. The result of Red is a catchy, fun banger that perfectly does fit into the theme of You See For Yourself. Uh, 31, After All, Elton John. I'm shocked by how well Parley Chuth, ah, Parley Chuth, uh, Charlie Puth and Elton John work together. They both give beautiful vocals, beautiful performance, amazing instrumental. It is a great song. 30, My Little Love by Adele. Adele basically dedicates the song to her, um, uh, her son, and it's heartfelt, it's heart-wrenching, it's depressing, it's sad and beautiful. I love it so much. Uh, let's see, next we got uh, 29, I Have My Life by J. Cole. J. Cole, Murray, and 21 Savage. Murray kills it with this cultish dark hook. And then J. Cole has one of the hardest verses of the year. 21 Savage is another one of the hardest verses of the year. What can I say? This song is so much fun to me. Um, 28, Walking in the Rain by DMX. One of the best songs I think DMX has actually ever released. Um, with Nas as well, and it's just a beautiful song with the vocals in the back. The way he talks about, like, the way he sees his son and the struggles he's gone through. It's beautiful, it's dark, it's heart-wrenching, I love it. Um, 27, Finish Line, Elton John. You get Stevie Wonder and Elton on a song. It is unnecessarily good. I never thought I'd see a song this good, but it, it, it truly is an amazing song. Uh, 26, Three Rivers by Dave. Dave illustrates the issues that he has to experience in America today and generally the world and it is heartfelt as fuck the instrumental is beautiful the rapping is phenomenal dave is just so talented all right last fourth of the list let's go number 25 to be loved by adele perfect representation of her vocals she's beautiful across the entire runtime amazing song uh 24 top picks for you by injury reserve this is my favorite song from them i cannot tell you how much i love the back synth the the way the instrumental on the back works with the vocals is the most heart-wrenching, most effective song, I think, on the album. I think Topics for You is the best song they have there. Um, 23, After Last Night by Silk Sonic. A song with Thundercat. Are you fu It's awesome. It is so good. Um, it is smooth. It is sweet. It is funky. It is silky. That's a good word. Silky. I cannot just putting this up. I cannot describe to you how much I enjoy After Last Night. It is a smooth, beautiful song. Um, 22, Woman Like Me by Adele. Adele basically brings this smaller kind of guitar-based song to the table about her kind of having this ego in this relationship, thinking, oh, you don't really deserve me, but I'll let you have me. It is effective and a beautiful song, actually. Um, at number 21, we have Heart Attack by Dave. Dave raps for nearly 10 minutes straight about his relationship. And it is so not boring. It is so entertaining the entire time. The instrumental is beautiful. The final little interlude is amazing too. It is nearly 10 minutes. And it is so not boring. It is so beautiful the entire time. Um, finally, number 20. Okay, top 20. Number 20, Industry Baby, Lil Nas X. I'm sorry. The song is effective as fuck. It is so much fun. Um, Jack Harlow gives one of my favorite performances I think he's ever done. I think it's my favorite Jack Harlow verse overall. And Lil Nas X just has so much fun in the song. He's so catchy, enjoyable, infectious. Easily one of the best, like, number one bangers of the year. It is such a good song. Um, 19, Introvert by Little Sims. Epic, large intro. Perfectly sets off the record. She just wraps her ass about the brokenness of the world. And it just sets all of the bigger themes and ideas that this record is going to handle in a beautiful way. Um... 18, Jail by Kanye West. You're going to start seeing Kanye everywhere in this top 20. Um, Jail is a beautiful intro to me. It, the effectiveness of the guitars in the back and the way Kanye sings with the guitars in a beautiful fashion and Jay-Z's final verse is effective, even a little risky, but awesome. And it, the result is the return of the throne and it's amazing. Uh, 17, uh, this is the choice I'm going to make the most hate for. I'm sorry though. Peaches Justin Bieber deserves to be mentioned. It is a smooth, sweet, great song with Daniel Caesar and Giveon giving great performances. Justin Bieber giving a catchy as fuck hook. It's a song that I just, I find myself constantly replaying. Over the summer, it was the song I basically listened to every day. It just is such a fun, ah oh shit, that almost fucked me up. Um, it is such a fun summer banger and the result, it's just a great song. It totally deserves to be number one in my opinion. Um, of uh, number, uh, I lost. All right, number 16. Is it insane, Alicia Keys? Alicia Keys basically presents it as the jazz song. Is it good? Yes. Is it amazing? Absolutely. Is it insane? 
is just a vocal range. Her The way she hits these vocals at the end, it's beautiful, it's dark, it's intense. I'm not talking about the original, by the way. Uh, one of the best songs I think Alicia Keys ever done. She said it in the space yesterday. Well, this is being recorded when it was yesterday, but she said it in the space um, on the 21st that it was one of her best songs, and I agree. Um, next we got at 25, we have Holds On by Adele. Uh, my God, the vocal range. The vocal range. Adele hits some of the craziest, most heartfelt notes of her career here. Um, the result, Hold On, is beautiful. Uh, 14, I'm sorry, Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. I did not think she would put out one of the best songs, if not her best song yet here. But she spends the first half of the song giving this melodic, beautiful performance and then dedicates the last half to just ripping it up with this intense metal dark energy and it is it is therapeutic it is awesome it is such a good song and it proves that she really knows how to switch Purcell I didn't love the happier than ever album but the title track is awesome and amazing um and it effectively is just one of my favorite songs of the year 17 off the grid Kanye West um off the grid is definition of talents you have a great verse from Playboy Cardi you have a phenomenal verse from Fivio Foreign, who's now I'm now a fan of because of the song. And Kanye West ends it with one of the best verses he's spent in recent times. You're giving this song that's just fun, constant, effective pace for nearly six minutes straight. And it's easily one of the best workout songs of the year. And it's a song that's kind of unskippable, if I'm being honest. Um, 20, uh, 12, I have another Kanye song. I have Hurricane. Oh, The weekend, The weekend, man. He he sings the most beautiful fucking notes on this song. Hits these insane highs on this song. Um, and as a result, I feel like Hurricane is just a beautiful song. Lil Baby gives a great verse too. Kanye gives a great verse too. But The weekend is the star of this song and it is beautiful. And honestly, I think it effectively is one of my favorite Kanye songs now. Uh, number 11, Smoking Out the Window by Silk Sonic. Almost in the top 10. Last minute I kicked it out, though. It's a beautiful song, though. It's perfect to me. The energy to it perfectly matches with the songs about of a girl just kind of tearing her life apart. It's beautiful, but it's fun. It's smooth. It's catchy. It has perfect energy. It's one of the best songs they had in the album. All right, number 10. Let's go. Top 10. Number 10, Family Ties, Baby Kim and Kendrick Lamar. I am shocked to say that Baby Kim and Kendrick Lamar were on a song together and they pretty much equaled out each other, in my opinion. Baby Kim has a perfect energy, fun verse over this horn beat. The way the beat switches halfway through is perfect to me, too. Baby Kim keeps up the energy. He doesn't stop for that beat switch. Kendrick Lamar comes in with this awesome smoking on your top five tonight, and he rips the verse up for two minutes straight. The result is this awesome song of just pure lyricism, flows, and the way they go back and forth at the end. I wouldn't change a thing about Family Ties. I love it. Number nine, Headshots for the Locals by Isaiah Rashad. Headshots is Isaiah Rashad basically dedicating it to being just this smooth R&B song where he sings beautifully. It's catchy. It perfectly took the sound that I feel like The House is Burning was going for and just made it its own song. The result is this smooth-ass song that I love. Um, eight, I have Life of the Party, Kanye West. Um, On Earth 3000 gives one of the best verses in hip-hop this year. It is a verse I consistently have listened to, and I find it beautiful. The soul kind of bass instrumental is perfect to me. Kanye gives a beautiful verse as well and a beautiful hook as well. And then the song ends off on this beautiful note of DMX uh, on an audio clip with his daughter taking this like ride. I think it's a slingshot ride. And it basically makes you tear up at the end of the song. The result is an amazing song that I wanted to put higher, but I couldn't. But I think it's amazing. Seven, I have Sweet, I Thought You Wanted to Dance by Tyler, the Creator. A nine-minute song. Nine goddamn minutes. And the song perfectly encapsulates a nine-minute runtime. Um, first half of the song is this beautiful song about a relationship. It's going perfectly. You know, um, he's talking about how much he loves this girl. But then the problems start coming in to settle and how I'm feeling like she doesn't think he's enough. Then the song just kind of ends in disappointment. And it perfectly encapsulates this nine minute song of just longness and waiting and loving. And then at the end, it's just kind of nothing. It's one of the best songs Tyler's ever put out. It's such a creative song. And I also, Brent Fayez in uh, art is it's just amazing. Um, six, I have I Drink Wine by Adele. I don't know why I love I Drink Wine so much, but I find it to be one of the most effective songs Adele's put out. The piano on it is perfect. It's so catchy. It's so beautiful, I think, in its own vein. 
I think she perfectly kind of talks about the theme that she has in this broken relationship across the record. It's not too heart-wrenching, but it's beautiful and it's perfect. And I wouldn't change the thing about a drink of wine. Apparently there's a 15 minute version. Drop it now. Um, all right, top five. Yeah, let's go. Number five, Put on a Smile by Silk Sonic. I didn't know Bruno Mars could hit these notes. I didn't know it. It's the best I think his vocal range has ever hit. He hit some notes on this song that are unbelievable. The way he sings, it's just, oh my God. Um, also, Anderson Pack gives the perfect energy of creating the song that feels like you're walking alone at night and you're staring up at the moon wondering what happened to your loved one. Ah, oh, it is so hard. It is so beautiful. It is proof that these are two such talented men. And I don't know, man. It's beautiful. It's infectious. It's it's perfect, man. It's a perfect song, in my opinion. Number four, I mentioned it yesterday. And my favorite songs of the year, because um, I'm surprised by how much this song is awesome. Don't Shoot Up the Party, Brockhampton. I did not think the song would make it on this list, but holy shit, it did. Don't Shoot Up the Party is awesome to me. It is perfect to me. The instrumental is perfect. The build up that the instrumental goes on and the way they hit on the chorus with the don't shoot up the party is oh uh, it's too good it's too good it is such a fun song by the end of it and the themes of racism and the brokenness that america has to go through it fits it all into three minutes of perfection the verses are perfect they perfectly give this kind of creeping like built up to the chorus and it even feels often like it's kind of alluding back to old classic hip-hop songs i don't even know what to tell you man don't shoot up the party is a perfect song and in terms of traditional hip-hop, the best hip-hop song of the year. It's not my top three, though. All top three, I feel like, deserve number one. They're all some of the greatest songs I've heard in recent times. Um, number three, I have Jesus Lord, Kanye West. I, If you watch my reaction to Donda, you know how much this song affected me. But oh my god, what a beautiful eight-minute song. Nearly nine minutes long. Kanye West brings this beautiful hook. It starts with this beautiful, like, 30-second intro where they just you have the slowly rising synth. And then the actual song gets in. The beat is beautiful. It is perfectly entertaining for nine minutes straight. As Kanye gives this beautiful hook with this beautiful sample in the back of them singing Jesus Lord. Um, Kanye then brings in a verse, which I think is the best verse he's put out in recent. Honestly, I think, I don't even know, probably since like, I don't know. I don't even know. This is one of the best verses I think he's ever done. Um, him singing about... Uh, you know, the first half of this verse is him basically talking about how depressed he's been losing his mother and how much he reflects on her a lot. And then with the line, Mama, you was the life of the party. I saw you brought life out of the party. And when you lost your life, I took the life out of the party. Hits so deep. Second half of this verse is him telling a story of a broke family um, who basically has nothing left. They lose their brother. They lose their son. So the other kid, the other son goes and kills his murderer. Um, and it basically shows his path to going and murdering someone um and the results of the song is oh it is so beautiful it and then you get this beautiful jay electronic verse where it basically prays to god and tells him how much he thanks him for his verse and then finally the final chorus of the song pretty much makes me cry every single time but the final sample of larry hoover jr talking about the hell that larry hoover has had to go through um basically starting this whole larry hoover campaign kanye started um what do you Go at man. Jesus Lord is beautiful. The best hip hop song I think of the year in terms of rapping, because my top two neither have rapping in them. Um, but the effectiveness of the song, the beautifulness of it, the themes that it touches on, it reaches deeper than mostly any song on Donda. And I think in terms of writing and impressiveness, I think Jesus Lord is easily in the top ten Kanye West songs ever. It is a beautiful song and totally deserved my number one. It didn't quite get there though. Number two, I have Leave the Door Open. Yep. It made it. It made it to the top two. Um, I know probably put on a smile is better sonically, but leave the door open. I listened to pretty much every day the entire year. And I just, I've, I've already been able to determine it's one of my favorite songs. Uh, leave the door open is just beautiful as fuck. It is beautiful as fuck. Um, the entire runtime, uh, he basically, sp he, um, both artists just give this beautiful energy to the song, the smoothness of the song, the righteousness of the song, the perfect energy to the song. Um, it basically perfectly does what I think the Silk Sonic album does constantly. Bruno Mars even hits some amazing notes at the end, too. What the result is, a song I couldn't change anything about, a song that defined my year, and overall, one of the most amazing songs of 2021, without question. Silk Sonic put out something amazing here. 
the best song on their album and one of the best songs either artists have. But it's not my song of the year. My song of the year is one of the most beautiful songs I have ever heard. I cannot tell you how much I love the song. It is a top five song in his catalog. It is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest song of 2021 is Come to Life by Kanye West. And I am not changing my opinion on that. This is a song that is an experience for me to listen to. Um, Kanye singing, it is evidence he is one of the most, he is a beautiful fucking singer. He knows how to sing so beautifully across the chorus as he sings about these amazing themes like, you know, just like this beautiful, the whole theme of the song kind of being um, maybe, hey, you're all lost in hope. You know, you hate your life, but maybe tonight is the night where it all changes. I don't know why it's so beautiful. Kanye sings beautifully over it, and you have this beautiful sample in the back, these beautiful synths in the back. It is a song that is an experience to be, it just, you need to hear it to understand how amazing Come to Life is. Kanye has some amazing songs in his catalog, but honestly, I think this is easily in his top five. It is a beautiful piece of music, and if you haven't heard it, change that right now. Holy shit, what a song. What a fucking song. Um, Come to Life is beautiful, and in my opinion, top five Kanye West songs, and it's easily the best song of 2021. But what are your guys' picks? What are your guys' top 10 of the year? Let me know in the comment section below. What are your favorite songs of 2021? Now we're going to get into the two worst lists, and then we're finally done. We're finally done with any your lists. Um, see you guys next time. Uh, peace out. Top 10 worst albums of the year is next. I am not ready for this one. Bye.